Okay, let's talk about formulas. As you can see here, I have a basic formula, and that formula is rate, which is another word for speed. You can think of it as speed or velocity. Rate times time is equal to distance, a uh, formula that almost all math students should know. So what we're going to be talking about in this video is just formula basics. I'm going to do a very, very easy uh, problem that's going to uh, involve this formula, but really the uh, the point of this video is not to um, you know cover rate times time equals distance. This uh, this specific formula. What I want to talk about is some of the more basic concepts that you need to be thinking about when you use any formula in science and mathematics. So I want to get to this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses, ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of uh, your mathematics uh, course, I can help you pass the, uh, those respective courses. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has an exam, and I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, Alex exam, CLEP exam, a teacher certification exam, a nursing school entrance exam, there's so many exams out there that people have to take for all walks of life, and they uh, generally have a math section. So if somebody thinks math is pretty important, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have, a, I have a very comprehensive homeschool math program that you might be interested in. Now, if you don't have math notes, don't panic. You can use my math notes. I'm going to leave uh, links to my math notes in the description of this video, but hopefully you don't need my math notes because one of the things that you have to do you must do to be successful in mathematics is to take great math notes. So hopefully you have outstanding math notes. Um, if you don't, start taking math notes. Okay, I've been teaching math for decades, and the one thing, the one and only one thing that I can kind of point to uh, that's you know been consistent over the years is those students who have great math notes almost always do great in mathematics. Okay, so let's get into uh, formula basics here. And we're going to use a real easy, easy example, okay? So let's take a look at this example. You'll be able to answer this, I'm pretty sure, without even your calculator. But let's uh, use this particular formula, okay? So a formula is things that we have in uh, like physics or in science. But here's an example of a formula. Uh, rate times time equals distance. Of course, I just uh, showed you that. Now, I would give you this formula. You likely would see this formula this way. RT is equal to D. Okay, and you would just understand this is rate times time. So when two variables are next to one another, this means multiplication. So rate times time, and that's going to be equal to the distance. But let's talk about the application of this formula, and let's do this basic problem right here. Okay, so here it is. It says a car is going 60 miles per hour. How far does the car travel in two hours? All right, so go ahead and just think about that for uh, a little bit. Probably about maybe 10 seconds is all you need. If you have the answer, okay, go ahead and put your answer in the comment section. I'd be curious to how many people could just figure that out like within, you know, one, two, three. Okay, I would say a good majority of you uh, stated that. Now, if you said 120 miles, then that's outstanding. I'm going to go ahead and give you a happy face and a little check mark. I'll give you a little A plus just to make you feel extra special. That is correct. Now, this happens to be a, a rate, uh, time, and distance problem. So just you know, looking at this, you're saying, okay, how can I figure this out? Well, we could use this uh, relationship. So a formula in mathematics or science, physics, or whatnot is a relationship between different variables. In this particular. Um, uh, formula. It's the relationship between rate, time, and distance. So let's use the formula to actually solve this problem. We know the answer is going to be 120 miles. Just Let's just think about it. If a car goes 60 miles per hour, it's going 60 miles in one hour. If it went two hours, it's going to be 60 and 60, 120, right? So that's good thinking if that's what you, uh, you know, came up with. But what I really want to talk about here is how to deal with units of measure. Okay, so we're going to apply this formula in a real super easy way just so you can get a sense of how you technically should be approaching um, formulas with units of measure. Okay, so let's uh, get into exactly what I'm talking about here. 
Okay, so here is our problem. Remember, we have our formula. Rate times time is equal to distance. So what is the rate in this problem? Well, I said that the rate, uh, the car, okay, is uh, the rate is another word for speed or velocity. So we know the car is traveling at 60 miles per hour, okay? Now, what is the time? Okay, well, it's traveling for two hours. So at 60 miles an hour, traveling for two hours, what is the distance? So these are kind of the... Um, uh, the uh, units of measure or the information we have for these respective variables. So what we want to do is solve for D. So I have R, okay, I have that variable. I have T, okay, I have that variable's information. So all I have to do is take that rate and multiply it by the time and I'll get the answer, which is the distance. And that's what I, I want it, right? So again, it's, uh, the question is how far does the car travel? That means to find the distance, correct? All right, now, what's going on technically, and, and, and this is not a small trivial detail, is the following. you got to really, really keep in mind units of measure when you're dealing with formulas. Now, let's take a look at 60 miles per hour, okay? 60 miles per hour. This is the way we write speed like of a car, but I want you to uh, understand that this little uh, P right there, that per, okay, is really a fraction bar. I could write this this way, 60 miles per hour. Okay, that's another way I could write that. Or I could write it this way right here, 60 miles per one hour. And this is the way you want to express this, okay? So this is very, very important, not only for like basic math problems like this, but like when you do uh, uh, units of um, converting units, like let's say in a chemistry class or some sort of physics class, dealing with the units of measure is critical when you're talking about formulas. So here you want to express the rate very, very specifically in terms of its unit units of measure. So for example, miles per hour, you need to understand that you have to express it this way, 60 miles per one hour. Okay, so you got to break down that unit of measure and I'm going to show you here uh, exactly why. Okay, so what is our time? Well, our time is two hours. So here's our rate, okay, right there. Okay, our rate, oops, um, our rate is 60 miles per hour. So I, I got that plugged in right there and I'm gonna multiply by our time. Our time is two hours. So I'm just gonna write two hours next to it. Now notice here, this is expressed as a fraction, 60 miles per one hour. But I can also express this uh, two hours as a fraction. So two over one, that's two hours over one. And anything uh, that you want to express as a fraction, if I had the number seven, I'm like, hmm, I want to think of that as a fraction. Just put it over one. Seven over one is the same thing as seven. So uh, two hours is the same, uh, two hours over one is the same thing as two hours. Now, when we do this, I want you to notice something, okay? Units, the units of measure are going to cross cancel here, all right? Hours and hours. I Here I have, this is multiplication. So these are factors. I have an hours down here in the denominator and I have hours up here in the numerator. So when you multiply these things together, these units of measure cross cancel. And this is not uh, like a little thing that happens automatically. You really have to think about it because a lot of students, a um, good way to know if you're, you're using a formula correctly is when you look at your units of measure and they cross cancel and you, you're left with the, uh, the correct unit, units of measure in terms of what your answer is going to be. So look, when my hours cross cancel, what units of measure am I left with? Miles, okay? So here I have 60 miles times 2. All right, now you know this is kind of getting a little bit convoluted here, but you can kind of see that it's going to be 60 miles. That's the only unit of measure left times two, which of course is going to be 120 miles. All right. So when you're using a formula, okay, there's a difference between a, uh, an equation in algebra. An equation could be like x, y equals z. Okay, this doesn't have, I could just use numbers here. But if I'm using something like f equals ma, this is a physics formula, force equals mass times acceleration or rate times time is equal to distance, okay? This is another uh, physics formula or just math formula at that. These variables have specific units of measure, okay? And you have to work with them. Uh, and the way you work with them is kind of like an illustration of what I'm showing you right here. So again, this is uh, kind of an introduction to working with units of measure and formulas. But um, 
you know, I can't cover all things in this one uh, basic problem. But if you understand, you know, what I'm getting at, then that's, you know, I, I think I did my job in this video. So you got to be aware of units of measure and you got to practice how to work with them. Okay. And of course, how you work with units of measure and convert units of measure, well, that's a whole separate video. So a couple suggestions on, uh, learning more about that one, you could check out some additional videos that I've made in my pre-algebra playlist on my YouTube channel, or you might want to check out uh, one of my courses like my uh, pre-algebra or algebra course. Okay. But if this little video helped you out in some small way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out tremendously. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics, but my best math help will always be within my math health program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.